Hi, I'm Eduardo Rosas, and I'm going to be uploading some summary and development videos to my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe to, you know, check them out as soon as they are out. I'm going to be posting daily videos about the basics of summary development, so you start learning about creating both Android and iOS apps with C Sharp code. Now, if you want to learn summary right away, maybe you can join my Udemy course, which I'll add a coupon, by the way, so you can join to it with a very good discount. Make sure to check the link down below in the description. You know, right now I'm just pointing to the floor, but YouTubers do that, I guess. That makes sense, as you're gonna be seeing this on a screen, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. Those summary videos will help you a lot if you are starting to build iOS and Android applications, but you want to build them quickly. You want to build them without having to learn Java and Objective-C or Swift, without having to code two times the same thing. You know what I mean? Without having to use both one uh, IDE for Android and another IDE for iOS. Because with summary, you are going to be using either summary Studio or Visual Studio. You're going to be building C Sharp applications. So all you need to do is learn one language, use one IDE, and I'm going to stop talking because you want to learn some summary right now, right? Okay. I guess I'll see you in the next video. We already have some understanding of how C Sharp works. So it's time for us to start building iOS and Android applications with Xamarin, of course. So we're going to be building iOS applications and Android applications. We build an iOS application and then we build that same application for Android. We may copy and paste the same code or just rewrite it, but we have to keep familiarizing ourselves with both C Sharp and Xamarin before we move forward and share applications, I'm sorry, share code between applications, between platforms. So let's just start with our first iOS application. And of course, the first thing that we need is to move to Xamarin Studio and create a new solution. So I have Xamarin Studio open, I click new solution. And in this case, of course, we're going to be building an iOS application. So instead of selecting other, I'm going to go to iOS, app, and in here I have a lot, a lot of templates that I can use, even for games. But we're, what we are going to be using most of the times, if not all of the times, is a single view application. Now the other templates, something like tabbed application, give me an advantage when I want to create an application that is tabbed. But since we are learning, we need to understand everything that is going on. So we're going to start with a single view application that is just an empty application in which we can add whatever we want. So once you select single view application, I'm going to click next. And in this case, we're going to build an application that is going to calculate the body mass index of people once they write their height and their weight. So I'm going to name the application BMI calculator. Make sure that you select a minimum iOS version that you want, depending on what iOS version you're targeting. For example, if you have a, an iOS device that is running iOS 8, you might want to select that as a target. Right now, I'm just going to leave iOS 9.1 because it's the newest and most phones and tablets have that version. And right now, I'm just going to select iPhone as the devices and I'm going to click Next. Just make sure that the project name is the one that you want and the location for saving it is the one that you want and click Create. After a couple of seconds, you should see your project, of course, your solution and the project inside of the project. Now, you may notice that you have a UI tests project. Right now, we're not going to mind about it. It's just there. What we're going to mind about a lot is about the project, the PMI calculator project. And here we have a lot of files. 
uh, most of them are C# of course, and we have some pleased files and a storyboard file. So if you have created iOS applications, you'll know what these are about. But just keep in mind that in the main storyboard, we're going to be defining the UI. And right now, since this is a single view application, we already have a view, and a view has a view controller. So this view controller in here is actually where we're going to be coding the functionality or the logic of our application.